Welcome back to the 4000 series series where we look at some of the 4000 series CMOS devices. Today we're going to be taking a look at the CD4055 which is a BCD to 7 segment LCD driver. There are three ICs in this range, the CD4054, the 4055 and the 4056. But the CD4055 that we're looking at today can be used on its own to drive an LCD but with one small caveat. Let's take a look at the circuit I have here. Now, if we take a look at the CD45, we can see that it's a 16 pin IC. Pin one is our display frequency out. It's our display common connection. So in an LCD, you'll have a common pin. Um, next, we've got the inputs. They're in a weird order, which is a bit of a shame, but it goes input two, one, three, and zero. Uh, then on pin six, we have our display frequency in, which is our square wave. And that's that small caveat I was mentioning. It can't be used on its own. You do need to provide a square wave input so that it can drive those segments 180 degrees out of phase. This is the little caveat I was talking about. You need a timer. So I'm using this, which is a 4060 and 4027 board. Essentially, it's, gonna, it's a one hertz timer. The 4060 uh, divides down the incoming signal from a watch crystal, the 32768 there. Uh, it divides it down to two hertz. And then the 4070, 4027 uh, divides that down once more to a one hertz output. But I'm picking off a 30 hertz from a separate pin. Then at the bottom, we've got VEE and VSS. Those can both be connected to ground to make this work. There will be some circuits you'll see online where uh, VEE is connected to uh, something like minus 10 volts, but it isn't required. Uh, pin 16 on the, we're going to start from the top right, is our 5 volt connection. And then we have our LCD outputs, and that's FGEDCBA. Let's have a look at those LCDs. So I've got the data sheet for my LCDs just here. If you want to drive a seven segment LCD, you're going to need to know what your pinout is. So you can see on mine, pin 16, which is the very top left pin, is our common. So that's going to go to our display frequency out. And then I've connected to pins two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which are on the bottom row. You'll see that they correspond on digit three to A, B, C, D. E, F, and G segments. This display has no decimal point or semicolon. But how do the inputs work? Well, the inputs work through a truth table that you can find in the data sheet, and here it is. And it has a lot of different characters here that can display, mostly numbers, zero to nine, um, but we also have L, H, P, A, dash, and blank when they're all high. So we can manually change our display. We've got our input pins just down here. So I can simply change the first one to a zero or a negative. So we get a zero. So if all of them are negative, then we get a zero. Let's make it a one. So we can go through and change all of these manually, or we can also go through a little bit of a more automated route with a microcontroller. So let me just wire this up. So now that I've got my microcontroller hooked up, I've connected to the input lines so we can toggle those high and low as quickly as we like. So you can see we're cycling through the entire range of outputs there very quickly. So that is the CD4055, a very easy way to get a single digit LCD running on a project of yours. It's pretty low current as well. You would need a couple to drive this display. In fact, I think this is a 2.5 digit LCD. All right, I'll see you all next time.